William Vigod, the heir to the Norfolk earldom went down, with the white ship as she set sail from Normandy, in 1120. The succession of Henry I to the throne of England was secured not only by the mysterious death of Rufus King William XI but also by the defeat of his eldest brother Robert, known as Kurt Hose. It was said that the crew and passengers had been drinking, whether by perfidy or incompetence, the vessel and all those shining dreams of the English Romanesque were lost. Duke William of Normandy, in becoming King of England, introduced with great vigour the architecture of European society. Assuredly William is the name given to the bigot heir to honour his family's relationship to the William I of England and Normandy. His contributions to social architecture were profound and genuinely coherent. William's father, Roger Bigot of Norfolk, the first Bigot Earl, Ralph de Bruillen, de Breton, being the first Earl of the Conquest. Ralph de Breton had made a marriage contract between Norfolk and Hereford, without the King's consent. A civil war ensued which resulted in the Earldom of Norfolk being given to Roger, William Bigot's father. South Lotham is considered the finest example, apart from the cathedral, of Norman architecture, in the county. Arthur Mee states that Earl Hugh is stained with blood of the subsequent civil war which occurred between King Stephen and the Empress Maud, or rather the Countess of Anjou and Normandy and daughter of Henry I. This being as Earl Hugh was present at death of King Henry and it was he who declared the King's change of will. There are many factors to question the accuracy of this but certainly Earl Hugh is scapegoat for a situation, in truth, engineered by the thoughtless ambitions of King Henry I in so marrying his daughter to the son of Geoffrey, the Fox, of Anjou.